Hello and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, I thought I'd give you guys a treat and basically show you a little inside sneak peek of where I work. Basically what I do. I mean, I've only been at my new job for about three, almost four weeks now. I do pull fiber for a living, as in fiber optics. So I'm going to actually give you guys a short little 15 minute sneak peek of what I do. I'm sorry there won't be no sound attached to it, but I hope you guys enjoy it because it's, what I've been doing is a lot of hard work. And watching other people screw up at my job is just not no fun because I, I believe in doing it once and doing it right. Apparently other people at my job believe in doing it multiple times and then blaming it on someone else. That's basically what happened today. If you kink the fiber optics that you are pulling, you basically have just broke the fiber optics and the whole line just becomes useless. Well, two people I work with on Saturday that are from out of state that do fiber pulling basically kinked some of the fiber that we were working on and their, um, the supposed manager, not the superintendent, but the manager, which is below superintendent, his two pets are the ones who kinked the line, but yet he came in today and he said that, hey, you guys did it. I came here earlier and I saw you do it. Because that kink wasn't there earlier. Keep in mind, we're on a scissor lift. Probably about, well, let's just say about to the top of, two, to about to the top of if not the middle of, a story and a half to two stories high. And he's trying to see a kink in the fiber optics from ground level on up. At a 45 degree angle, which is sort of really hard to do when the kink is in a black fiber optic line and the shadows are basically facing down, which is the kink is facing down. But yet, he decided to side with his two little pets and basically accuse me and my co worker of kinking the line and basically telling us to go find something else to do, which we did, of course. And to turn out, even though the, there was a dent in the line, it didn't damage the line, which is a good thing. Because then we'd have to replace the whole fucking line, which would have been a pain in the ass. But, um, like I said, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what I do. What I do. So, let's take a look and I'll get back at this short 15 second video of what I do. And as you saw, I mean, there there are a lot of uh, fiber, fi what are they called? You have those yellow plastic fiber trays. You have the um, Cat6 uh, um, fiber, uh, Cat6 baskets below that. You have a ladder rack above that, which is meant for, I guess, storing the fiber optics for heavy weight. Then you also saw another basket above that, all lining from one side to the other. It actually goes all the way around, does a complete 360 around it, and then goes right down the center of it. And it holds a lot of Cat 6, a lot of fiber, and you know what? It's actually a pretty fun job. I thought it was going to be a pain in the ass, but I'm actually learning a lot. I mean, I've never done it before, so it's actually pretty interesting. I'm actually, like I said, I've learned a lot. I've my first day at my job, I got scissor lift certified, so I could actually operate a scissor lift by myself as long as I have a spotter, which is cool by me. If I can now just have them teach me how to do termination as well as splicing, then I'd be having a much better time at work because I'd be doing something that can make me a lot more money. But everything in time, that's what I believe. But I hope you guys enjoyed that 15 second video, and if you guys would like to actually see, hear my voice more and See my, as you can see, my interesting backgrounds. My backgrounds almost always changing. Now that I'm actually my app to work. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button. But until next time, you guys all have a wonderful evening. And I'll broadcast to you guys later. Until next time. Bye.